Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. Just watching, uh, what are we, one in the morning and we're, we're having a late night meal. <laughs> They're heading to bed though. I think, uh, Carter, yeah, he conked out first. But, uh, Paulette, I had left playing darts over here and realized what she really needed was a good meal, so told her to go do that. But they are going to be going to bed and, and, uh, I spent the last few minutes before I started recording kind of wandering the map. I found some more ore over there. And I think uh, tomorrow when they all wake up, we're going to go do a field trip. I think we've spent too much time right here at the home base. We need to get some observing done. We need to make use of these before, I don't know what their seasons are. They pumpkins have pretty much all gone away so hopefully they return for one more season but you know just kind of replant and start over but um hate to lose all of these blueberries or whatever these are going to be because we just never got to them you have to wait an entire you know, one more year to do it what are you guys up to you're probably up to no good whenever they're walking like that they're they're searching for something to kill yeah those big chickens I guess we're going to have to observe them one of these days, too. But let the game roll through. Uh, let's kick that speed up a bit. They're probably going to sleep for quite a while. Carter is going to get up first, but that's fine. He can come over here and take care of this. And I got to thinking about something. They're sleeping on sleeping mats. I was going to put real beds in when we got up in here. There's probably no reason why I can't give them real beds right now. and That's likely to give them a better night's sleep. At least you'd think that it would uh, give them a little bit of a of a bonus at the start of the day. So maybe to about to rot away. Ah, yeah, we got some uh, stinking bug meat right here. Um, let's set up a f pause a second. We I guess we don't have that yet. That is still part of the research to yeah fuel fermentation out of bugs turns it into fuel which we could run generators on we could run we don't have any no we haven't advanced far enough to be able to see that there's a flamethrower that uh, uh, we can use for defense um, our, our airships going to take it uh, fuel so fuel is going to be a thing and that's a good thing to do with the bug meats we do have all of these guys queued up to butcher so we can get some more meat stew. Bug meat stew. Mm -mm. But uh, I think I'll pass on that one personally. Oh, that probably made you nauseous. Anyway, turn this back on. Get these guys awake. Carter's going to get up earlier than the rest. And he can get to constructing. Um, Carter, did you have a meal last night? Yeah, you're, you're good for a while. Though your happiness is not. There we go. Low mood. So we'll let you get up on your own, speed it up some more. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Come on, guys. I'm being impatient here. There we go. Rita got up first. Carter, what's your thing? There you are. You're constructing a shelter. Hmm. Okay. And Simon is researching. So I would have thought that Rita would have slept more. I guess she just didn't need it. And what was that? Carter's got a risk of meltdown. Why don't you get this banged out first? Let's see what it looks like. <clears throat> then we'll get you... I don't know. So they're staring at a shroom lamp or something. You are constructing something. A uh, shelf. Can I tell you to observe it? I can tell you to go and appreciate a, shor a shroom torch. Interesting. Now... We've researched insect fats. That's not the same thing as fermentation, right? Um, let's see. Could use a cold press to extract it. So a wooden oil press. Oh, new new tools. Okay. Well, I guess we can put a couple right over there. Oil press right there. Uh, wooden and. You have to access it from one side only. Oh, like there's a crank on there. Ah, okay. So let's pop one there and one 
there just to just to get them happening do we want to do this thing with more places um while i'm thinking of it let's get the production tailoring bench wood out of here or out to here so we can get that one going i guess we could rearrange this a little bit you're going to get mostly the clothing let's see here apparel so let's turn weapons off there and other items what does that mean nowadays so turn off eh, turn off tea but i guess this might be a good place to put fabrics and the tea leaves they're kind of bulky and yeah so okay apparel and not crafting and raw fabric and leather so not electronics that's all going to kind of land over here so if we could just do the opposite over here hmm we turn food on there we don't need to well we will carter's got to build that shelf still but um so i'll leave that on just yet but let's turn off the raw fabrics let's turn off the apparel and let's turn off the other items i think that's pretty much the opposites so they'll rearrange that a little bit and make that uh, work out better but as soon as these get built then we'll move all the foods back into this area but i'm wondering if we want to try this little expansion in anywhere else maybe right here get get rid of this middle and put it in there and i don't know we'll see um so what are we up to carter is still constructing a shelf did he he appreciated a decoration but apparently oh so we're heading here as a result okay your food is you could use a bonus why don't you come over and we still selected yeah eat that let's kind of get you guys all happied up so we can go off the rest of the day and go do things out there i want carter to mine ore like crazy and paulette how are you doing happiness you're pretty rough too few fun things to do paulette is working she went oh she went to go get the grain that was on the ground over here so if i can get you just inside i can get you to drop that off what what do we have in foods right now are we fine we have got six quick oh okay the quick meals are three grain uh, grain porridge and three veggie soups and that's actually all we have right now because she's doing a lot of the the handling and all the other things so she's not and i'm always grabbing her to go do things so she's not able to concentrate just on cooking anymore hmm and i kind of want to grab her to go off and do things over there what i want her to do is do the mining over here while carter does the ores over there while simon and rita get out there and observe the last of the food things and maybe these guys right here and see what they are so that was my plan for the day i'm just trying to figure out how not to uh how to lose them in the process so paulette mostly needs what her relaxation is not that bad but she could use another round of it okay so what has she got under her belt right now nothing so paulette how about you now that you're under a roof you can drop that on the ground and go appreciate those for a little bit and then come over here and play some darts for a little bit let's just see if i can stack a little bit on you rita is always fine rita has no problems whatsoever um simon was angered by carter twice and in reverse oh one of them just wore off okay well that helped him out so simon is doing what right now he is eating he's right in there okay so carter is constructing a shelf um so he's heading all the way up to here with what he has been ordered to do. Let's just tell him to get started right now. Why don't you come out here and we just had our attack yesterday. So mine that and then come over here and mine that. So give me all that ore, break it all up so we can use it. And so Rita is... All the way over there transporting bug oh you are hmm 
you're out here already, how about just get the job done? Go over here and butcher. And when you're done, butcher. And when you're done, butcher. And when you're done, butcher. Let's just get it finished. You just stay out there until the job's done. Thank you. Uh, but not before that. Okay, try that all again. Come on over here and butcher immediately. Then we'll hold the shift down and grab three more. And then one, and one, and one. It will not let me do that one. We can grab that one. Nope, apparently there is a limit. <laughs> she says enough. What is, that's a big shadow going by. What are you? You are a flying reptile. Let's hit observe. Let's just see if that happens to grab. Probably not. So Simon is taking a walk. And Simon's happiness will be doing great once that's done. Where are we? We're in that 1,400 hours time. Paulette is, is doing what right now? Paulette is in great shape right now. She can already get started. So let's have her get to work on mining rocks and mining more rocks. And while we're at it, I want you to mine some rocks. Okay, so that is you. So Rita's busy, Simon, or Carter's busy, Paulette is busy, Simon soon will be. Ah, he's forecasted all the way out to here. We can get him going. What is going mean? Let's get these guys figured out. Come on over and observe this one. And now you guys have your orders. So while you're doing that, and look at Simon run. I'm impressed. <laughs> Let's get down. Oh, I'm on fast speed still. No wonder it's already 1,500 hours. Wow. Okay. Well, let's slow that down. Um, boy, I was just about to mark these to be taken down and put beds in place, but I don't think we're going to get that done the same day we're doing all these other things. So let's go check up on Rita. And she is grabbing all of these. There's bug meat all over the place. We're only getting four each. Oh, they've probably already been eaten halfway by other things. Yeah, shelf life is dropping. And pan coughs have probably dropped in. And No, they're all 46, 47, so that is just decay. Yeah, so we're not going to get as much out of this as we could have had we gotten to it before. Oh, well. And we may not even get back here to pick them all up. Yeah, look at you! eating up our bug meat. <laughs> what do you think you are? A vulture or something? Alright, so you are picking up... Oh, tell me you're just going to work, walk down the line and pick them all up. See, we didn't get to see this last time with the, uh, the butter squash. She, uh, when she got the order to pick things up, she, uh, the shelves were full. So we never got to see what the game automatically did. I'm impressed. Okay, 20... Oh, you're going to go find more? Oh, thank you. Okay, I'm even more impressed now. So what is... What are we missing? There it is. And what is the red over here? That's nothing. So we have these left. I'm going to say thank you. That was a great job. We'll leave the, uh, the buzzards a little bit of food. You're going to bring those all back. And when you are done... You get a break. Okay. So how's everybody else doing? Carter's over here. Mining away. He is pretty low in his mood. A few fun things. Unrelaxed and was annoyed by Simon. That's got to fall off soon, right? In one hour, that falls away. Unrelaxed will not. And a few fun things to do will not. New resource silicone. Uh, Simon. No. Raw silicone used in the production of some electronic components and devices. Where'd that come from? I don't know. This... <laughs> okay, I'm confused. I thought those came out of something like that, or one of these great big red things, or what have you. But we aren't researching any of those. So why did we just randomly learn about silicone? So is that a thing? 
Um, is there anything that's a big category like like fabrics? Crafting materials, silicone. Zero. So how do we just suddenly discover silicone? And how do we know where to find it? Using production of some electronic components. I don't know. That one's just going to be a mystery. Um, Carter is over here. He's still just a low risk of meltdown. Paulette, you're in a great mood. You're handling the campfire. So you broke up a bunch of stone. And... I don't see it laying out there, so I assume you've brought it all into inventory. I'm just going to let you go ahead and do your thing, because we are kind of low on cooking at the moment. So, handling torches. Let's get you actually working on a meal. So, um, let's make some more pies. Some more 12-pointers. Okay. So Rita was on her way in. She's pretty much done for the day. Simon, you are in an average mood and you're halfway done with that I think we'll see if I don't know if your sleep timer will break this or if you'll continue researching right through it I'm not sure Carter you're still just going at it like a trooper silicone there it is silicone or silicon silicon there's no e at the end so silicone is what you call with right <laughs> So silicon is in here as well as ore. So it doesn't say iron or copper or anything like that, just ore. Okay, so that is the last one on Carter's list, and he'll be heading home. <clears throat> what will he carry home? Risk of meltdown, Rita? Really? Crushingly unhappy? Wow, I didn't think Rita could do that. <laughs> she's always been our happy camper. Well, <clears throat> she's almost there. And then she'll, uh, 2100, she probably won't get in. She'll be in her anything, do anything you want mood. And I would hope that would translate into, what, food. So when you're done with that, grab a, wow, no foods. Wait a minute, no foods at all? A veggie soup. There's a buttermelon pie. Where are the buttermelon pies? They all landed over here? No. I don't know. <clears throat> but we need to find it. Buttermelon. Grain porridge. Grain porridge. Emergency rations. That's a buttermelon, not a buttermelon pie. And okay, where did we hide those? I don't know. It says we have them, but I don't see them. Huh? Look at that again. Tasty meals. Two buttermelon pies. Where are they at? It's a mystery. Let me. Move around here, because you should be able to see them on the shelf. And it's not there, and it's not there. And it's not there. You are... Unfinished veggie soup. Huh. Um, nothing landed in these. No foods landed in those. I really don't know. You, there you are. No, that's healing balm. <laughs> oh, well. Um, handling torch. I need you to get some food. So at the very least, why don't you eat a veggie soup? We'll just go that route. No breakdowns on my watch. Where are those buttermelon pies? That is wild. So, Carter, how you doing? You are still out here picking away. I thought that was your... Wow. You're probably going to just fall apart on me, aren't you? No, you're still holding up. You have really appreciated that decoration. If you can just get back within four hours and get to bed, you'll be fine. <laughs> okay, well, let's just hang around here. In fact, we'll, 
Well, before I speed you up, I'll just take a peek. Uh, Simon is still researching. He's not in risk of any meltdown. Uh, Rita's up to a low mood rather than a crushingly low. So she'll be fine. He is going to transport how much ore can he carry at one time. And let's just remember, let's... a shiny rock. Ooh, there are unusual rocks or whatever, and there are shiny rocks. Different. Okay, well, we'll mark you for observation. Okay. And I really want to get to one of these plants soon, too. See what that is. Um, let's... Oh, so we are almost done. Good. So Carter's on his way home. Paulette is handling a torch. Rita is sleeping. So how's she doing? Did she ever get... She got food. She's, she's doing okay now. Good. So Paulette is going to go to sleep. Carter is ready to to uh, lose it. Simon is not. Did he finish? Fruit bush. Okay. The peculiar bush gives small sweet fruits. I'm sure that they could be eaten safely as they are or used in cooking. Maybe even wine making. Ooh, so this is a bush fruit planting of okay so my blueberries no is that different from that wait a minute here you are a fruit bush your fruit bush you're just different stages okay as compared to this one which is a berry plant hmm okay well I'd say let's harvest all of that that we can for tomorrow um, in fact, let's, let's do some serious harvesting. And maybe we won't spend too much time planting that this year. We'll see. I mean, there's a lot of it out there. Um, planting it means what? Fruit bush. Yeah, let's, wonder what we should be putting up in here. Ooh. That might look kind of nice up in there, huh? Put a patch of it right in there. That's 80% growth. Well, we won't get distracted with that yet. But we do need to think about what kind of plantings we want up in here. Um, Simon is eating. I did queue up research. We're going to get coffee going. Musical instruments is next now that we have our ore, our alloys, and electric grid. Need to get that. Uh, need to get thinking about modernizing ourselves. And I brought brick into it. It's brick rooms, but it's the brick fences I'm mostly concerned about. I want uh, the extra um, protection for a, uh, a fence to, to surround our compound. Um, fuel fermentation. Let's swap those two. Yeah. In fact. Let's even do that. Let's something else to do with the bug meat. And stock, start stockpiling some fuel in case we actually do come up with a use for it. I mean, who knows? Maybe we can fix this. <laughs> um, so we're not going to do the targets. So this can all be torn down and reused for materials. Let's do that. Is there an easy way to deconstruct? Okay. Take that down. Grab those logs and finish off our, our home with it. So, or actually probably finish off these with it. So, is, uh, how did Carter do? He's only just now getting back. And it's four in the morning. Okay. Well, he grabbed a meal. Is that all there is? Let me think about that. Uh, meals. Because there's no happiness involved with that. If I can get you to instead grab a porridge. So, Carter, can you eat a grain porridge? You can at least get your plus six out of that. There you go. Do that instead. Oh, and it is rotting. So, you... Shelf life is down to 20%. Rita. You need food? You could use some food, won't you? Uh, who, does anybody need it more than you? Paulette does. 
So Paulette is sleeping. As soon as she gets up, let's have her eat that one. Get that gone. I'm sure it still tastes fine. Yeah. <laughs> it hasn't quite gotten to its expiration date yet. And you... Yeah, you're the... the yeah, you're the healing bombs. I still don't know where those pies are. Unless they're not on a shelf. I don't know. That is odd. Is anything sitting on the ground? So you are definitely only construction materials. Okay. Oh, well. We'll figure that out. But yeah, Paulette, you probably need to concentrate a little bit more <clears throat> on cooking right now. In fact, let's go ahead and just make that happen. So, Paulette, handling back up to two so you can get straight to cooking. Get our, our, our food reserves back up again. So, Carter is going to play some darts, get his relaxation up a bit. His stress isn't that bad. So, that's what he's working with there. He's, he's still half awake. <laughs> Yeah, so your sleep actually turns off now. We're at 7 o'clock. Sleep ended at 4 in the morning. So he is going to just keep building up his stats. And eventually he'll just conk out and go take a nap. That's fine. So, Carter, important things. These shelves. And probably that bench over there. So you're probably not going to get up the hill today. And that's okay. We've got a bunch of ore. We got a bunch of ore. Is there another use for ore? Um, can I see it? Is that a building material? That's a crafting material. That's right there. Uh, there. Ore. Unprocessed ores can be smelted and refined into metal alloys. So I'm guessing this is the only thing that you can do with ores is to smelt it. There wouldn't be a raw ore needed for some kind of crafting. Okay, so if that's the case, then melt from scrap and melt from scrap. Why do we have two jobs? That's odd. Okay, so smelt from ore and forever. If there's no other use for the ore, then may as well. Yeah, it doubled up in here too. That's odd. So smelt from ore and forever. Okay. So that's a Paulette thing, except that she is going to concentrate on uh, foods for a while. And that is good. So 23 meats. We needed 10 per or 5 per? <clears throat> Meat, soup, needs 10 meat. Okay, so we get two meals out of that. Carter's going to go deconstruct this and use that wood for something else. There's our giant bird again. I only seem to see their shadows go by. There you are. Gotcha. Observe. Our pterodactyls. What was that? Insufficient storage space. All right, so what are we short on? Is it food again? Um, okay. Are these turned off? Keep empty. Okay. So, I guess that's not a thing right now. So, just go ahead and let you guys use them. So, you, 200 of 200. Out here, 1,200 of 1,200. 100 of 100. So, there doesn't seem to be any sense of degradation even though they're outside okay oh we can't store wood because we're out of room up here no I'm confused it was none and just wood up here and down here there was no wood but I wonder if this has got to be storage within a certain distance no, that's just insufficient materials. I read that wrong. Never mind. And that was a that was a food thing. All right, so you're going to construct a shelf. And once you do that, then we will be able to get food back up on the shelves again. Okay. 
So that will take care of that problem. Rita, how you doing? You're grabbing a pie to eat. Mm-hmm. So Paulette has been busy. Good, good, good. So a little bit of homework here. Get this project done, then we'll get back into something. Simon, you are researching. Doesn't actually say anywhere on the screen. So you're working on coffee. Yeah, let's get coffee done. We have... I want to get the musical instruments done too, but we do have quite a variety now of, of, of uh, recreation. So let's... Right after you're done with that. What is that? Shared a childhood memory with Rita. Okay, that's nice. So anytime we can get them just to sit or hang around each other, we get uh, interactions. Paulette is vomiting. Okay. Then we're right back to cooking again. Paulette, what's with you? Health and low mood. Um... Paulette had the porridge. <laughs> okay, maybe 20% is a little bit risky. All right, I, I get it. Okay, I made her eat it, and she's vomiting it away. Uh, not getting any disturbed sleep, in a little bit of pain, and a few fun things. Hmm. So do they all have the few fun things? They actually do. Except for Simon. Because Simon... Nope. Nothing in here that canceled that out. Okay. So... You can now... Rita, can you... Haul that? And right there. Okay. So that's all done. Carter is constructing these guys. Getting the oil press going. Which will take what? Extract animal fats. Animal fats from insect meat. All right, let's set up one of those. You're going to need 20 of them and a piece of cloth. We no longer have it. Okay, well, I'll leave that queued up. And next time we have 20 bug meats, we'll give that one a try. We're going to cook the last of these and be done. In fact, she's going to grab them now, right? No, she's taking a walk because it's 1,300 hours. Okay, so Simon, when you're done, how's your mood? Your mood's great. You're going to go eat a, a pie and your mood's going to be even greater. So after this, you are going to come over here and tell me what these are. Maybe your afternoons are all going to be spent doing this sort of a thing. Um, Carter is relaxing, and he needs it. And he was annoyed by Paulette, and he's tired. I wonder if I can just tell him to go take a nap. Um, yeah. His rest is pretty low. Though I'm sure he'd like to build that. I could sleep in sleeping spot. Oh, I had the shift down. He decided to do that anyway. We'll give him a couple hours sleep, then wake him up. And he'll do what he wants to do after that. Wow, he is really not too happy with Simon right now. Hmm. Paulette, who are you liking? You like Simon and Carter. Rita likes Simon. Simon likes Paulette and Carter. So don't have anybody that's... Uh, um, actually, Carter... Does like Paulette and Paulette does like Carter, but hmm, nothing serious yet. Uh, pickled vegetables just got done. Okay, I didn't see her go to do that. Are they on a on a shelf somewhere, or do they have to be unloaded? Um, I take it there's fifty in there, and there's five in here, or was that just the last job that they did? In stock. Okay. So that's still got to be unloaded yet. So let's do something here. These shelves, in general, are no longer going to take any kind of foods. Yep, that's all done. These shelves as well. No foods. Okay. This one was only meant to take meals and medicines, and now it is. 
And this one... Though there's a chance that there might be too many meals for this shelf. So I guess I'll leave that there. And raw foods and not medicine. So all of these over here should now be... No cooked meals, just raw foods. And over here... And there's our... Our uh, 50 pickled. So the pickles are going to be completed meals. So they're going to take up some space. All right, we'll leave that one with both. Okay. So with that, um, running out of our day, 1800 again already. Simon is out there observing. Uh, Carter's sleeping. Let's wake him up. He got a little nap. He'll make it through the night now. And does it say what he wants to do? He is now going to go build the wooden oil press. Can you actually build the refuel? So these, interesting. So the fuel runs out. So pretty soon the glitter caps will decay and not let off their glow. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Anyway, can you instead get this guy going so that we can see how that works? Paulette is crafting, so she's taking care of all the food and taking care of all the housekeeping. Is that right? Because I turned that off. No, you went straight to crafting because that was your next one. Uh, crafting, do we have any of these guys yet? No, we are 60% done. So we can't set pipes in here yet. Does anything else, anything else drop in? No, so we're still waiting on those. And we're going to have you do spears. And back to here. Spears are last. Bandages are in stock. We have healing bombs. Let's move spears up. Um, keep bandages at the top all the time. But you'll probably finish this one. You're getting. You're gonna go make some foods. Uh huh. Oh, new wooden spear. You were working on that. Huh. Okay. That's not what I thought I saw, but okay. So, new spear, crude melee weapon. Who needs that? I'm thinking Paulette does. How many times has she missed with her gun and someone else shot the bug just before it got to her? She's probably going to be the first one that... <laughs> That comes in direct contact with a with a with a bug. So where did she go to drop that? I would think it would have been Okay. I got this right. Huh? New weapon. Does that mean we have one? Let's go over here. Yeah, we have a spear. So where is the spear? It should be here on this shelf. We get down a little lower. I don't know. So you. i do that again. You, in general, there is no spear. No. Maybe the game is still trying to figure out where it is. Are you part of the workbench? You are. Can I have Paulette... Right-click the workbench and equip the spear. There we go. All right. So you're going to equip the spear. So it was hiding there. <clears throat> Carter is going to go construct a wall. How much of this wood can you carry at one time? Be nice to get a whole bunch of this hauled up there. In fact, what if I did this instead? Carter, how about you just... Carter, haul wood. And that should bring it all up to the top as much as you can carry at once. Maybe you'll get more than just what you were going to grab for the wall. Great, you got all of it. Okay, does it say how much? It does not. But it's a lot. And there's stone out here still. Ah, if I mark all that... Oh, you can say do or do not use it. Like I could have said do or do not... 
uh, butcher those last bugs over there. I see. So Rita is harvesting. Oh, nice. And Simon is over here. He's only halfway done. His mood is fine. We'll just let him uh, go until he collapses. But uh, Rita... No, Carter's risk of meltdown. Yeah, when he's done hauling that wood up there, he'll be pretty much done for the day. But let's see if she picks up everything. No, she's just dropping right now. We'll kind of hang around out here and watch. Get all those berries. There. So, bush fruits. I'm out for one meal. Ten. Vegetarian. Uh, small sweet fruit used for cooking. So, you're going to harvest everything. All right. How's your mood doing? You're fine. Great. So, hopefully... I kind of want to hang around and make sure that she does actually go and collect all of these. Wouldn't want uh, you know, the animals to eat them through the night. Now where are our... There they are. Our deadly chickens. Yeah, pretty soon they're going to go out on the prowl and start uh, hunting something. Hey, our pumpkins are coming back. So they are rotational or you know they 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 come and go throughout the season all right so in that case i guess double click you and hit harvest but let's see how many rita can can transport 150 and she seems to have quit okay so paulette what are you doing right now you're you're kind of rough so i better just leave you alone tomorrow morning we'll come out and get all the rest of these berries Boy, there's a lot of them. Yeah. This would be a lot easier in a centralized location. Do have to realize that. Okay. So here's more of our cotton, which... Let's see what's going on over here. Um, so shirt, jacket, pants, boots, hats. Let's start with hats. Ooh, we got choices. A straw hat... So, talk to me about temperature. Heat tolerance increase 42 degrees as compared to a fur cap. Heat tolerance 39 and 46. So, when it says heat tolerance increase 42 degrees, so that means you can tolerate 42 degrees more than without it. I think that's how I'm interpreting that. Discovered skin bark. Okay, let's pause and let's say, please give us four of those. And if I could hit priority, I would. But when Paulette gets up tomorrow, let's have her do that since we're in the middle of the hot season. And temperature... Well, we're down to 60 right now. I didn't notice what the high temperature of the day was. So we have just discovered skin bark. From a distance, the twisted shapes of the big purple plant resemble alien fossilized trees. Upon analyzing further, I found out that his bark was tough and felt almost like skin. I think that skin bark would be a fitting name for it. It should be possible to process it into leather-like materials. So process it means what? We can harvest plant, craft it on a workbench into leather. Okay. And then we can construct skin bark beds. Is there a benefit to skin bark beds versus, I'm going to guess, cotton? Hmm. So Simon is on his way to bed from all the way out there. And he's doing fine otherwise. Rita. Oh, she picked up a lot more. So she was she left at 150 berries. She's got 240 now. Okay. She is back to an average mood. I thought she was in trouble. Paulette is doing fine, and Carter is crushingly unhappy. And he's eating some vegetable soup instead of well, maybe he's had no? I was going to say, instead of his pumpkin pie, let's get him a plus 12. Does one exist? Buttermelon pie. Go put the other one back. 
Let's eat the buttermelon pie. Let's be smart about this. All right. New research is veggie armor. Ah, now that we know how to make uh, the the leather. Untempered veggie leather is not strong enough to be used for armor. We just need time to temper with it. Time to temper with it on a craft... On a tailor bench? So are you saying that that just showed up here? Pants. Let's go with, with pants. No. Is there another bench that just showed up? Tailor. No. What's going on over here? So craft veggie leather. We need to collect some first. And nothing showed up in regard to weapons. No. So where did the armor go? Or is that we're just waiting for the game to reset itself? That might be the case. Okay. So Simon is running in to go to sleep. <laughs> All right. So is that an episode? Kind of a catching up sort of episode. Not a lot of excitement, but... Uh, you know, I'm finding it one of the hardest things to do when making these videos is coming up with a name for the video. <laughs> I used to just say episode one, episode two, episode three, but trying to come up with a quick little descriptive name. We have more ore over here. I thought that's right. There are two two piles. So what do we call this episode? I have no idea. I'll think about it as I'm editing. But let's. I think stopping the middle night works because then when I turn it on before I start recording I can kind of go through and click on things and figure things out and figure out what my game plan is for the day. So we're at 2 in the morning. Rita's eating. She's about to go to bed. Everyone else is heading to bed. Speed it up just a touch and she is off to bed. All kinds of bonuses for that. And we just finished off some... Uh, making some more. So with that, I think I'm going to call this one quits, and we'll start up here next time. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye-bye.